Hello, I'm Jenny Lynch and this is the Creative Science for Kids podcast. I'm Matilda and today's show is a mind-blowing episode to celebrate National Science Week. Saturday the 9th of August to Sunday the 17th of August is National Science Week here in Australia. So it's time to blow your mind with five fun and fascinating fast facts about different types of science. Some mind-blowing recent discoveries in science, a few different voices sharing their favourite mind-blowing science, and an activity that's oozing with science for you to try yourself at home. During National Science Week, Creative Science will be performing the Mind-Blowing Science Show at free events around Sydney. We'll be at the Australian Museum on Saturday the 9th of August, at Lizard Log in Western Sydney Parklands on Sunday the 10th of August, and at Centennial Park on Sunday the 17th of August. We'd love to see you there. If you're in other parts of Australia, you can search online for National Science Week events happening near you. Listen up because here come five fun and fascinating fast facts about some mind-blowing science. Fact number one. Physics is the science of how things move and forces, like the magnetic force, gravity and friction. Physics is also about energy and electricity, heat and light, the structure of atoms, space and time, and the fundamental nature of the universe. You know, nothing too heavy. And speaking of heavy, I don't want to get everyone down, but did you know that the Earth's gravity is pulling down on you all the time? You don't even think about it most of the time, but if it wasn't for the force of gravity, you'd float away into outer space. Fact number two. Chemistry is the science of what things are made of. The properties of materials and what happens when different chemicals are mixed together. The mind-blowing thing about chemicals is that pretty much everything around you is a chemical and your body is made out of chemicals too. About 60% of your body is water, and water is a chemical with the chemical formula H2O. The device you're using to listen to this podcast on is made from chemicals as well. A laptop computer has over 200 different chemicals in it, including metals, plastics, and computer microchips made from silicon. Fact number three. Biology is the study of living things, and we are living things, along with plants and animals, fungi like mushrooms, and microscopic organisms like bacteria. The diverse range of living things on planet Earth is truly incredible, and one mind-blowing thing that they all have in common is the chemical called DNA. DNA is short for deoxyribonucleic acid, and it's a very long molecule that stores information and instructions for how living things will live and grow. If you're a human, then your DNA stores the instructions for the colour of your hair and how tall you might grow, as well as lots of other things. If you are a fruit tree, which I assume you are not, your DNA could store the instructions for growing apples and what colour those apples might be. And I know what you're thinking, but what if I'm an ant? Well, ants have DNA too, and so do mushrooms, blue whales and bacteria. Fact number four. Astronomy is the study of the stars and planets in the universe. We live on planet Earth and Earth is part of the solar system. The solar system is made up of the sun and things that orbit around the sun, including eight planets, as well as moons, asteroids, comets and dwarf planets. The solar system is in the Milky Way galaxy and the sun is a star and it's just one of 100 billion stars in the Milky Way galaxy. If you think that's mind-blowing, wait until you hear how many galaxies there are in the universe. It's a pretty big number. There are around 2 trillion galaxies in the universe. To write down the number 2 trillion, you have to write down the number 2 with 12 zeros after it. Fact number five. Scientists do research to make new discoveries, and there is still a lot of mind-blowing science left to be discovered. Although scientists understand lots of mind-blowing things about how the world works, there are still a lot of things we still don't know. Every day, scientists are making new discoveries. For example, we don't know how many different types of animals there are on Earth, and biologists are still discovering new living things. We don't know how big the universe is, and although a lot of physicists have a lot of ideas about the size of the universe, we still don't know for sure. There is a lot of work being done in medical science to find ways to treat and cure diseases. Chemical science is always coming up with new and improved materials, and lots of scientists are working on solutions to slow down climate change and to adapt to changing environments. Let's take a look at, I mean listen to, some new mind-blowing discoveries in science. 
I know that my name is Jenny and your name is Matilda, but did you know that wild monkeys have names too? Scientists recently discovered that little marmoset monkeys have their own individual names, and they respond to their own name when it's called out by other monkeys in their group. Marmoset monkeys live high up in trees in South American rainforests, and scientists have studied their high-pitched chirpy voices and used artificial intelligence to decode the names the monkeys call out to each other. The James Webb Space Telescope is capturing incredible images of the universe, including galaxies that are very far away from planet Earth. The telescope has also found lots of exoplanets that are a lot like the planets in our solar system. An exoplanet is any planet that is outside the solar system, and these planets orbit around their own stars, just like planet Earth orbits around the Sun. In medical science, there have been incredible discoveries to treat diseases, like using a technique called CRISPR-Cas9 to make very precise changes to DNA molecules. This is being used to treat diseases where there's a problem with some of the DNA in a person's body, like in cancers and a blood disease called sickle cell anemia. Now it's time to hear from a few other people about the science that really blows their mind. I'm Eylem Altuntash and I'm a developmental psychologist. One mind-blowing thing is that babies can spot patterns in speech before they can even talk. They can tell whether a sound is made with the lips, like in baby, or with the tip of the tongue like in daddy. Even without seeing your face, they can group all lip sounds together and all tongue tip sounds together. Their brains are amazing. Hi, my name is Jinx Moore and I'm a medical research scientist working hard to find new treatments to help people with lung disease. One of my favourite facts is that if you could spread out the lungs completely flat, they'd cover a whole tennis court. And if you were able to put all the airways in your lungs end to end, they'd stretch over 2,400 kilometres, which is almost all the way from Adelaide to Darwin. How crazy is that? Hi, I'm Dr Alison Gould. And I'm Dr Patrick Capon. We're both science communicators at Australian Red Cross Lifeblood. We love sharing all the amazing and mind-blowing facts about blood. My favourite is that there's 48 different blood systems that your blood might have. Well, my favourite mind-blowing fact is that every single atom of iron in your red blood cells was born in the heart of an exploding star. Hi, I'm Kira Lowe. I'm a PhD candidate at the University of Wollongong. And one mind-blowing fact about science that I love is that the viruses and bacteria and other things that make us sick have changed (laughs) humans over time and we changed them over time. Hi, I'm Kenya Fernandez. I'm a microbiologist exploring the strange and beautiful world of fungi. Did you know that some bees farm fungi in their nests? The fungi help protect them against disease and provide nutrients for baby bees. It's like a built-in microbial pantry passed from generation to generation. Nature is full of secret symbioses like this. I'm Dr. Alicia Haynes. I'm a senior lecturer at the University of Technology, Sydney, and a forensic biologist. Now, let me tell you, DNA is my favorite molecule. And did you know it has approximately 3 billion base pairs? Now, if you were to measure that out, that would be about 2 meters of DNA per cell. Now, that is a lot of information that we can use at crime scenes. Well, Matilda, now it's our turn. I'll go first. I'm Jenny, and I love finding out about mind-blowing adaptations in animals, like a tiny type of sea slug called a blue dragon nudibranch that eats blue bottles. It stores the blue bottle's stingers in its own body so it can sting anything that tries to eat it. What about you? Do you have any more mind-blowing science facts swimming around in that curious brain of yours? I'm Matilda, and my mind is blown by marine mammals like dugongs and manatees. They are so big and beautiful. There are lots of mind-blowing science activities you can do at home, and there are lots of ideas on the National Science Week website in the DIY Science section. We'll include a link to the DIY Science page in the show description. And we have a kitchen chemistry version of the elephant toothpaste demonstration for you to try yourself. Make sure you tell an adult what you're doing first and check you have their permission. You'll need a measuring cup, some warm water, a small jug, a teaspoon of dry yeast, 
a small plastic drink bottle, some dishwashing liquid and a few drops of food colouring. You will also need about 100 millilitres of 3% hydrogen peroxide. Ask an adult if you have any at home or you can find it at a pharmacy. Be careful when using 3% hydrogen peroxide because it can stain clothes and other material and you might like to wear gloves to protect your hands. So that you don't have to remember all of these instructions, we will include the steps in the show description. This activity is pretty messy so you should do it on a tray next to the kitchen sink or in a sheltered outside area. Use a measuring cup to add about 50 millilitres of warm water to the small jug. Add one teaspoon of dry yeast to the warm water, stir it gently and leave it to sit for five or ten minutes to activate the yeast. You'll know when it's ready because there will be bubbles on top of the water. While you're waiting for the yeast mixture to bubble, use the measuring cup to add about 100 millilitres of 3% hydrogen peroxide to the plastic bottle. Add a big squirt of detergent and a few drops of food colouring to the bottle and swirl the bottle to mix the liquids. If you want to make a video or take a photo of the elephant toothpaste reaction, get ready now before you do the next step because the reaction will happen quickly. Pour the yeast mixture from the jug into the bottle. Step back and see what happens. You should see a bubbly foam oozing up and out of the bottle. The chemical formula for hydrogen peroxide is H2O2, and you might notice that it is made up of hydrogen and oxygen atoms, just like water, which has the chemical formula H2O. Hydrogen peroxide slowly breaks down to turn into water and oxygen gas. Yeast contains a chemical called catalase, which speeds up this reaction. The bubbles you see in the elephant toothpaste reaction are bubbles of oxygen gas made by the hydrogen peroxide breaking down. Hydrogen peroxide can cause damage to cells in living things, like us humans and the yeast used in this activity. So many living things make the chemical catalase to get rid of hydrogen peroxide. Now it's time for us to go and get ready for a huge National Science Week. Thanks for listening and remember to stay curious. To find out more about National Science Week and to search for events happening around Australia, visit scienceweek.net.au. The Creative Science Wicked's podcast was recorded on the traditional lands of the Bidjigal people. For more information about Creative Science Australia, visit creativescience.com.au.